So today we're going to look at BAT debts recovered and how uh, we go about doing the double entry for BAT debts recovered. Uh, from the previous video you'll remember that we discussed BAT debts and how if a person uh, was unwilling or went bankrupt, in other words a debtor was not able to pay you back, then you would write it off as a bad debt. On the rare occasion you do get a situation where the debtor does, uh, after you've written them off as a bad debt, decide to pay you the amount. And if we look here at this example, we can see Rodbert is a debtor that we had written off originally as a bad debt, um, who later then pays us back the $500. So the original double entry would have been credit the sales and debit Rodbert's debtor account in the sales ledger by 500 And then at the end of X7, we wrote him off as a bad debt, so we would have credited the debtor account, Rodber's account, and debited the bad debts account. And then at the end of the year that would have been transferred to the debit side of the profit and loss account in the income statement as an expense. Uh, the reason for that, of course, uh, as a result of Rodber not paying, we've lost $500, so we have to put that as a cost of running the business during that financial year. Now, the happy news is that Rodber on the 5th of January 2008 decided that he was actually going to write a cheque for $500 and pay back um, J. Jones Limited. So the common mistake that most students make is that they think that that payment will need to go through the bad debts account. Actually, in fact, with bad debts recovered, we have to open up a new account known as a bad debts recovered account. The first thing that we do is we reinstate the debtor. It's almost like recreating the debtor. So we credit Rod, uh, bad debts recovered accounts so, and we debit the Rodber. And so you've effectively recreated here the original $500 debt that Rodber owed us as a debtor. And then we credit Rodber's account because he's paid us and we debit our bank accounts. 